Dr. Shilpa from Bangalore. I am a fertility specialist, laparoscopic surgeon and a high risk pregnancy expert. So let's talk about the success of IVF. IVF has been more and more commonly used now for couples who have inability in conceiving and it has been accepted as a standard all across the world. IVF is the in vitro fertilization of the oocyte and the sperms. The results as we see is varied. So we see so many advertisements saying that success 100%, 90%, 80% and when you come to the clinic, so the doctor may say that the success is about 35 to 40%. So what are the factors that determine the success of the IVF? So in a woman, there are certain factors which can improve the success of the IVF. The first one is the age. If the woman's age is less than 35 years, then she has got a better chance of success. If the woman's AMH is more than 1.5, then the chances are better. If the woman doesn't have any problems like uh, infection, endometriosis, previous surgery on her ovaries and previous surgeries on the uterus have better success. The success also depends or increases when the woman doesn't have diabetes, blood pressure, thyroid issues, obesity. The main factor that is the semen factors. If the semen analysis is normal or if it is slightly abnormal, then also the success rate is better. Whereas when the semen parameters are very poor or when the husband needs a direct aspiration of the sperms from the testes, then the success rate goes down a little. So the other parameters like the quality of the injection, the quality of the uh, media and the other medications used during, uh, during the stimulation, the IVF lab setup, the embryologist expertise, all these will add value to the success rate. But roughly, even if all these things are maintained at the best of its uh, uh, standards, the success rate is only about 30 to 35 percent and sometimes 40 percent. When the tubal factors, that is when there is a blockage in the fallopian tube, then the success has been very good because I, the first IVF was done for the fallopian tube blockage. So the fallopian tube is the place where the fertilization has to happen and that part of the process of fertilization happens in the embryology lab in the IVF procedure. So they have got the best results. So we do IVFs when there is failed IUIs more than three cycles, when the woman is more than 35 and has been married for more than three years and has unexplained infertility or when there is endometriosis of moderate to severe grades. So during this process, it is very important for the couple to expect realistic success rate and be prepared. So the first IVF cycle is like an index cycle wherein we assess as to the response of the woman to the medication, the, the scans, how she will respond, what is her response to the hormone medications, how the woman is able to cope during the stimulation process, what do we expect when we do the pickup, what is the quality of the oocytes, what happens to the oocyte when we uh, mix it with the sperms? What is the quality of the embryos that we get? And how the endometrial lining develops during this stimulation process? So once we know this, if everything is optimal, if everything is good, then it results in a successful pregnancy, either single or twin. If any of these factors are not up to the mark, then the success rate goes down. So when you come for the procedure of IVF, it is always better that you know the success rate and you don't blame yourself or the doctor or the center for a failure. So let's hope that you have a successful pregnancy and a healthy baby. Thank you.